guys what is going on it is obadiah and today we are back on the center playing some arc so uh, oh if you guys do enjoy these videos or uh, if you learn something do me a favor and subscribe and share and thumbs up and the whole deal um anyways guys today today i want to tame something big i'm not scary not monstrous or cool but big and we've got quite a bit of kibble we've been making check this out look at all the kibble we have 433 dodo kibble which is insane but we have got tons of all sorts of kibble and i'm thinking today we're gonna use our lystro kibble and we're gonna tame ourselves some uh diplodocuses diplodoci some diplos and the reason we're gonna tame some diplos is because lystro kibble is for diplos and diplo kibble is for what's diplo kibble for tapijaras allosauruses i don't know it's for something else uh so what we need it and we just haven't done it and i would like to get a few of them i want to get one that's really high level i'm talking level 324 or higher uh now keep in mind 360 is the highest on our server and it goes up in increments of 12. um that notwithstanding i do want to get a couple others as well low levels don't matter one male two females for eggs so I'm gonna go ahead and take a look around and see what I can see and find what we can find. What is this big old wall? Whose wall is this? PVE Cloud City. I haven't seen these guys in a long time. Big wall, I'm not a huge fan. Anyways, I'm gonna look around, see what I can see. And, oh, there's one right there. B360, just first one we look at. Oh, 312, that's actually not bad. We'll have to keep that in mind where that guy is. Uh, I'm gonna look around find a diplodocus for us to show some sweet tender love and care and then i will bring you all back all right guys so with a little help we were able to spot a 336 male now i get a little nervous taming things in the redwoods because it can be a really dangerous area but it looks okay here um after i get it knocked out i might have to do a little bit of a fly around and see what i can uh and see what I can clear out and make sure there's nothing around here. But uh, we should be fine. I don't want to have to like, build a wall around it or anything. Uh, let's see if they'll just sit right there. Just perfect. <laughs> uh, so what's cool about the Diplos is you can passive tame them as well. Um, or you can knock them out and tame them. Oh, did I miss or did I hit my own guy? I hope I didn't hit my own guy. I didn't, didn't get the little animation. Oh, he's running, so he's, all, he's almost out. Go down, sucker! Go to sleep. Go on. Uh, da, da, do. Uh, so we really have no use for Diplos except for, really, right there. That's where you want to chill. Except for kibble reasons. I mean, they're kind of a cool dino. Now, here's the thing. When I say they're kind of a cool dino, what I mean is a max leveled one all in speed is kind of fun. And it's down! But realistically, they are maybe the most useless dino. I know they're supposed to be like a taxi or whatever. Uh oh. Oh, maybe that's Cat over there. She was helping me look for one. I hope it's Cat. Yeah, it is. See, there she is. Hey! So, uh, we're gonna go ahead and let put some kibble on this sucker. We shouldn't need any narcotics, but we'll grab some just in case. Um, and let this guy tame up. And while he's taming up, we're gonna go find some more to knock out. All right, guys, so just literally so close to where we just were, there are two Diplos, and we are lagging. And there's a 264 male, which we do not need, and an 84 female. So we have one good, decent level one, and now uh, we just need a couple for eggs. So we got the male knocked out, so now we just need a couple of females. Um, the other one took 49 of our kibble, it looks like, is how much it's going to take. Um, come on, go to sleep. Uh, so, but we do have another 46 more, I believe. Yeah, so we definitely have enough to get two low-level guys. Is that a... Hey, get out of... Get out of here! Get out... No, don't eat my guy! See, this... I hate this stupid Redwoods. Get out of here. I'm just gonna go drop this guy over here. Terror birds everywhere. I just cleared the area out, too. Where's my guy? Where, he's right there. Okay. First, let's go check on our other dude. We can't go too far because, as you just saw, it's too dangerous. Where is he? 
Um, where's our guy? Oh, there he is. This has got to be him, right? Let's take a look. How you doing, bud? Okay, you're still. You're doing fine. You're doing fine. He's doing okay. No terror birds have come this way. So once I get this guy kibbled up and knock on another one, I'm gonna sit with the high level one and just watch his back. Look, what the hell? Get out of here. I, I might have to go build a wall. I don't know. I'll figure that out later. I'm gonna go look for one more to knock out. All right, so victim number three is a little bit bloody, but it is a 108 female, which is perfect. Um, cat found it for us. There's cat right there. And let's go ahead and knock this sucker out. That's one. We should have more than enough kibble. I think we've got 29 left. Um, I think it should only need like, I think the other one needed 15. So this shouldn't need that many more than that. Maybe one more dart should do it. And it's done. We might have hit it after it went down, but uh, it should still be fine. So I'm gonna go ahead and throw kibble on this one and then kind of go sit with our uh, higher level guy and hope he doesn't get be eaten. All right, so I've learned that Diplo food actually drops pretty quick. Our level 84, our lowest level one, is just about to be done in uh, right now. There it is. <laughs> awesome. So we have a couple kibble left over, and he came out at level 108, which is just fine. Um, let's go ahead and drag him over to the higher level one. Oh, we're stuck. We're stuck. And once we get him over here, that way it'll just be easier to keep track of him. Where is that other guy? Did I pass him? Oh, it's right here. Okay. Yeah. Okay. That's a, is that a Megalosaurus? Megaloceros? Yes. Okay. So that's fine. Well, let's leave this sucker here and let's go ahead and check on the higher level one. Um, he's just up the hill this way and I'm guessing he should be almost done as well. He's only 24 levels higher than that guy was but we did knock him out a little bit later. But nonetheless, it should be just about time. And where is the sucker? Hopefully he's still alive. Ooh, we got all sorts of Carnos and stuff spawning up here now. Ugh, we're trying to keep the area clear, but that turns out to be very difficult in the Redwoods. All right, this guy's about half done, so I'm gonna go ahead and fly back and forth and keep keeping an eye on him and bring you back in a bit. All right, just one more bite for this uh, level 108, the second female. Man, is she bloody. She took some serious damage. All right, and it should be popping up. Let's see, what is it? Is 80 for kibble? I can never remember. So that's 50. So another 25 and there it goes. Wait, that was only like 55. Whatever, either way, it's up and that's awesome. We've got two Diplodocuses, Diplodocus, Diplos. And so I'm gonna go ahead and uh, Diplodocus. That's how it's pronounced, Diplodocus, that's right, okay. Go ahead and take this guy down, all the way down to the bottom. Hopefully he doesn't aggro a bunch of stuff on the way. Come on, bud. Get away from the wall. You can do it. I believe in you. There we go. And uh, we're going to go and take it and... Uh, is he going to aggro these bears? Bring it down to the other high-level ones. And that way, hopefully, we can just watch him and not aggro anything. And keep him safe while he teams up. All right, I think with just one more kibble bite, this guy should be up and it should be happening any second now. Oh, nope, I guess there's one more. All right, now with just one more kibble bite, this guy should be done, fully kibble tamed. Uh, should come out at level, uh, uh, math is hard, 500 something, 503 or something like that. I think 503, maybe? Is that proper math? I don't know. But anyways, it's gonna be just a moment here and this will be it. There it is, 503, my math was right. All right, now we've got ourselves three Diplodocuses and now it's just a matter of getting them back to base, which is actually gonna be not difficult at all because we all, base is just right over here. Just right on the other side. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and fly these guys home and I'll bring y'all back. I'm stuck, let me get unstuck. Uh oh, we're in trouble. Diplodocus necks everywhere. Let us out. All right, so we've got these guys home and now what we need to do is put some saddles on them. So, uh, I don't know what it takes to build the saddles. Is it in the, no, it would be in the smithy, right? You don't make saddles in the fabricator. Uh, Diplodocus, oh good, we already have the stuff. We can make four of them, which is perfect because we only need three. 
Uh, now the only problem is, I don't know where the heck we're gonna put these guys. We might need to expand our base because we need these guys and we need Brontos. Um, oh, we got a level, sweet. Uh, let's put that into oxygen. I'm trying to get oxygen up to 300 so we have a decent swim speed because soon, soon we're gonna do some water stuff. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and get these guys saddled up and parked somewhere and then I'll bring y'all back. All right, we've got these guys all parked here. And what I've realized is our one singular Oviraptor inside the barn is not gonna cut it anymore. Um, I'm hoping that the egg collector will reach this far. If not, we might have to reposition it. Um, let's see, oh, there's one really good way to test it, actually. If we go ahead and grab an egg out of here, let's grab a terror bird egg. And let's go drop it and then see if it'll pick it back up. It can take up to 30 seconds. I'm hoping not. Let's go drop it all the way in this corner. And just take it and drop. And now watch it. I think it's gonna take it. Um, how long do I wanna sit here and watch it? Let's turn this way and back. Uh, okay, so. Yeah, the, so the egg collector is supposed to tick every like 30 seconds or so, so hopefully it grabs it. The range is supposed to be 75 foundations, um, which this might actually be out of that range. Yeah, it looks like it's not gonna pick it up. So we're definitely going to make, you, oh, oh wait, there it goes, it grabbed it. Let's go check. Uh, so if that's gonna pick that up, that would be great. And then we just need a couple over raptors. So I think I'm gonna fly around and see what we can find. Yep, there it is, perfect. As far as Oviraptors are concerned, we do have a bunch, a ton of Giga Eggs, um, unfertilized Giga Eggs, that we can use to tame those suckers up. So I'm gonna go ahead and look for those, and then I'll bring y'all back. All right, guys, so after an absolute ton of searching, I found an Oviraptor. What level is that? I didn't even check. 40, 48. What kind of garbage? Okay, can this thing go away, please? Lagging? I could have sworn it was like a 200 something. Was there two of them? Huh. I, I guess I just saw it wrong. Well, anyways, go ahead and get this sucker back to base and tame it up. <clears throat> it, uh, I don't know if the other one's a male or a female, but it did take me so long to find this guy that if, uh, was this one a male? I think it was a male, right? Male over raptor, yeah. So if our other one's a female, we'll just mate them to get a third one, I'm thinking. All right. We're not gonna bother with a taming pen for this guy because that would be a little ridiculous. Um, and he's out. What? What? Did it not say 48? And now it's saying 200 something? Well, whatever. Either way, we're gonna tame it up. So, I already grabbed some Giga Eggs. I don't know how many it'll take. Let's throw them all in there. Four, four is how many fits in this inventory. So I'm just gonna let this guy tame up and that one's a male. Let's go look at, what's this one? A female, awesome. So after this guy gets tamed up, we'll go breed them to get ourselves a third one and then we should be good to go. All right, I don't know how much food a Giga Egg takes to consume, but uh, it's got to be coming up pretty soon. It looks like it's been 110 food almost. Is that right? So, I, yeah, I have no idea how much it actually takes. But with one egg, it almost completely tamed this guy, which is crazy. So now I'm hoping that just with that this thing will just pop up any second now, like right now. No? No? Not even a little bit? Let's see. It's, uh, it's got about coming up on 130 food. And still nothing. Maybe 140 food? I don't know. I didn't even, I couldn't even find it on the wiki. And to be fair, I didn't look that hard, but I didn't at first glance see it and that's it. All right, we'll give it to 150. And if not, we're just gonna have to keep waiting. Let's see, it's 140. All right, here we go. Three, two, one, and eat it. No, all right. Well, I guess we'll have to figure it out later. All right, I'm thinking maybe it's 200 food, which we're about to hit right now. 200? Maybe? And? Eat it? 
Oh, it's 200 food. So now we know for the future, 200 food is what it takes for a, uh, a giga egg to be consumed. Let's go ahead and throw this guy on lowest and get him, get him coming over here. Uh, we're getting a little bit of framing this, probably because of how much stuff we have in here. No, that doesn't make sense. Oh, whoa, you're right on my tail. All right, I'm thinking this one we'll throw over here. So we want to start getting those Diplo eggs. Right there. Now let's come this way a little bit. Let's try right there. Uh, let's load them up with some stone so we can't move and throw them on wandering. And who all gets the egg bonus? You guys do. You guys do. The mammoth does. That might be from the other one though. Awesome. That's a good spot. And then we'll throw another one down over here. But uh, we don't need that right now. Let's go ahead and take this and put you on follow. And let's go ahead and get him mated up with our other Overraptor. Um, come on, bud. All right. All right. So we can get a third one. I don't gotta go actually. He's like gliding around. Do you see that? All right. Uh, and you are remove encumbered to mate. Okay, let's put him on follow. And take this off of him. And they should both be wandering already. Yes, okay. So we're gonna go ahead and let them mate up. And then I will uh, bring y'all back when the egg's gonna hatch. Okay, now I have no idea how long it takes an over raptor egg to incubate. Uh, I've never, never bred over raptors before. Uh, oh, but it looks like it's starting to move pretty quick already. So I'd guess maybe five minutes. All right, this thing's gonna start to hatch any second here. And I looked it up and they do take meat because I wasn't actually sure. And there it is, a little baby over raptor. <laughs> and it is a male. Oh, let's take a look at this sucker. That's awesome. <laughs> um, go ahead and feed it so it doesn't die. And disable wandering. Oh, uh, I accidentally shot it. Or I shot uh, right before it hatched on accident. But nonetheless, here it is. Let's see if we can get this sucker over here. Come on, bud. Come on, follow us over. It's weird how they glide when they're eating. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and drag this guy over to where he's supposed to go. I don't know how long it takes for them to grow up. Them slide, it's so weird. But uh, I bet you it's not that long. So, but I don't know if we're gonna wait for that for this video or not. Nonetheless, we're gonna go get him over the spot where we wanna want him to be, and then we should be good to go. All right, guys, so we have got our little baby over raptor all set up and good to go. He's all full of meat and right next to a trough and in the place where we're going to use him. Uh, once he gets all full grown, we will go ahead and overburden him and then put him on wander and leave him here just like the rest of them. Uh, so that way we can get those egg laying benefits. But for today, guys, I do think that is going to be it. Yeah, if you did enjoy the video or if you learned something, do me a favor and hit that thumbs up button. And of course, if you haven't yet, feel free to subscribe. Oh, that hurt. Uh, you can also check me out on all the social medias, your Facebook, your Instagram, your Google+, your Twitter, the whole deal. And if you're feeling extra generous, uh, you can go ahead and hit me up on my Patreon at patreon.com slash ObadiahX. All the links are also in the description below. Uh, but for today, guys, that is going to be it. I do appreciate you guys coming to hang out with me. And until next time, I will see you later.